sometimes up to five times per day because it's new, it's fun, and you get horny as soon as you see half an ass cheek on an OLED screen. What's up folks, it's Uranus from Brussels, welcome to another video. Today I will be reacting to a movie trailer I recently stumbled upon in my recommended video. The movie is literally my life story, so if you're new to the channel, due to issues at birth with my brain, I never produced the necessary hormones to go through puberty. So until I was 25 and I started taking testosterone, I didn't go through puberty. Before that there was literally nothing going out down there and I found this Hollywood movie based on a true story of a man who went through exactly the same thing. Now the movie is called The Late Bloomer and I know all about late blooming so let's see what it's all about. So the description is the following. After the removal of a benign brain tumor, a 30 year old sex therapist who has never gone through puberty has his world turned upside down as he is thrown into a whirlwind of physical and emotional changes, all while desperately trying to win the girl next door. That sounds exactly like my life, well maybe except the girl next door. It sounds quite funny and is based on a true story of a man who didn't have any puberty before he was 30 years old and trust me there are more of them out there than you think. Now how the hell can he be a sex therapist if he never reached puberty. Let's watch a trailer together and see what it looks like. By the way, this is what a man looks like at 25 years old before reaching puberty, just so we have an idea. And this is not an example of a 27 year old that never reached puberty. We'll compare with the movie. So I'm not the only one out there, trust me there are more cases, it's just not everyone is on YouTube talking about their underdeveloped genitals. All right, let's watch the trailer together. We average one sexual thought every seven seconds. But sexual energy can be diverted. You're a superstar, new Tony Robbins. He suppresses people's natural desires, strike up the band. You're kind, you're funny, you're pretty damn amazing. About peace. He's not gay. Call you tomorrow. You're lucky that you date dudes. No, I'm not. I'm actually dead serious about that. If you ladies are ready, let's play a little basketball. Oh, really? <laughs> Good shot to the nuts and also dingus melon. They're like little quail eggs. We found a brain tumor up against your pituitary gland. The pressure it's applied has blocked your normal male development. Basically, you've never gone through puberty. So this is supposed to be the 30 year old in question, but he looks way too masculine for the role. You can definitely see that he has androgens running through his veins, that he has testosterone in his body actually. I still don't understand how he can be a sex therapist. So he's getting hit in the nuts with a basketball and then when they check his genitals, they realize that they're completely underdeveloped. Yep, I went through that too and trust me it's never fun when you have multiple people who come check out your genitals, especially if they're still the size of knickknacks underneath a cocktail sausage, you know, but I never had anyone taking pictures of my genitals because that would have ended badly. So in the hospital they tell him that he has a benign tumor on his pituitary gland and it prevented him from going through puberty. The pituitary is this small little pea-shaped sized gland behind your eyes and it's like the command center of all sexual hormones in your body. It's an incredible important gland and if it doesn't work properly you'll end up looking like a castrati at 30 years old. This can actually really happen. I made a video recently about Brennan Westfall who was on the doctor's show. You can watch the episode online if you want and he was 27 years old and because of a benign tumor on his pituitary he never reached puberty and I talked with another English dude called Neil and he had exactly the same thing. He lived for a pretty much large part of his life without going through puberty so the movie is actually real. It's all fun and games in the trailer but trust me when this shit happens to you in real life it really sucks because even if you have the courage to go seek a doctor most time they will just label you as a late bloomer and they will not look further into it because it is so rare. So I kinda actually wish somebody had hit me in the nuts when I was 16 or 17 and I would have ended up in the hospital at that age instead of 25. 
Let's continue the trailer. We got the penis of Stephen Hawking at the moment. I don't want to split hairs, but Stephen Hawking could actually get an erection. Breakfast is ready. So how's puberty at 30 going out? He's got the Sunday Times rolled up in there. <laughs> we got one! You gotta help me. I'm horny, I'm moody, and I think I'm going nuts. The puberty is happening at an accelerated speed. Pardon the interruption, but do you drive a silver Prius? I'm in session! My office! Now! We have 25 minutes. Hey, Steve! Wanna go over? Would you mind if I pop those on YouTube? I have to take a rain check. People put their lives aside in pursuit of their next orgasm. Orgasm. I don't know, you just seem different. Pete! You've been avoiding me. Come here. Uh-oh. Just realized I'm late and I gotta go. You'll never get it! You can act out, baby. I hate you I wish I was ever even born! I've been waiting 15 years for him to do that. I was laughing my ass off when they showed a scene of his first erection because I remember exactly how it went from me. When I started taking testosterone, it wasn't very complicated, I was pretty much erect 12 hours per day, praying that no one would notice. It got quite painful too after a while, you know, I think our sausages are not meant to be erect half of the freaking day. By the way, even without puberty and testosterone in your system, it is still possible to achieve an erection. So he transformed into a horny mess of pimples, erections and emotional outbursts. Personally, when I started TRT at the age of 25, I would relieve myself sometimes up to five times per day because it's new, it's fun and you get horny as soon as you see half an ass cheek on an OLED screen. His dad has been waiting for 15 years that he would become a man. What a wonderful father just waiting there. It's funny because in the trailer he seems like he's going from his first erection to straight out going to Tinder right away after that. Anyway, I'm gonna watch the movie and I will give you my opinion about this movie straight after because it's literally about my life story so I will tell you what I think about the movie guys. So I watched the movie on a Sunday evening and I now understand why it only has a 5 on IMDb. For me it was actually funny because I went through this but the trailer we watched together was the best part of the movie. It's an over exaggerated mess. The movie is all about sex, sex, sex and sex but going through puberty is more than just putting your cocktail sausage inside of a woman, right? I mean the main character in the movie has his benign tumor removed on his pituitary gland and so he's starting to produce his testosterone by himself and three days later there's a stripper in his room, his entire family is there to celebrate his first erection and he's masturbating all of the time. I mean it must have been quite funny for the actor to actually film this scene. Now in the movie they say that because he started his puberty that much later he's actually going through it at an accelerated rate. So in what feels like just about a week Week, he starts to develop acne, he's smelling like an animal, his voice is cracking, he has mood swings and he's basically fucking everything that moves. In reality it takes a bit more time, like four, five or six years, you know, it's a shame that the humor in the movie is so light and stupid because it's actually based on a true story and they could have respected this man's story just a little bit more. Hey, maybe I'll make a movie someday about my story, you know, because my family never celebrated anything and I never had any strippers in my room. Ending it here. Leave me a comment to support my channel. Subscribe to Uranus. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Uranus out.